For the third episode of my Sustainable City Guides, I traveled to Berlin. What I think is so astonishing about this city is the history. It's also an interesting city because there's not really one city center. There are so many different cultures, people and areas in Berlin and the diversity is amazing. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. That would make me so happy. In this series called Sustainable City Guides, I'll be exploring different cities throughout Europe and guide you to some of the best sustainable shopping experiences, hotels and restaurants. You'll find a public map in the description box below of this video of all of the places featured and many more. There's also a link to a more in-depth blog post that you can always go back to. This way I hope it becomes easier for you to travel in a more eco-friendly way next time you want to visit any of these cities. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Berlin! Yay! I'm fully checked in at the Gulsmann Lulu Hotel in Berlin after a really nice and fuss-free train ride down here. I'm on a quest to fly a lot less this year and this is sort of the first trip to mark that. Next time I will be traveling to London by train. It makes me anxious just thinking about it, but I will do that this year, I promise. I want to explore the world of traveling by train instead of taking an airplane. But yeah, I'm fully checked in at Lulu Gulsmann Hotels and they gave me this absolutely stunning room. I'm here on a complimentary stay, which means I have not paid for the room myself and it's very kind of Gulsmann Hotels to let me stay here. Really excited to be here. I haven't been here for years. Last time I was here, it was with I think it was a work trip when I used to work as a designer, so I didn't really get to see the city. And before that, I was here with my husband, Modern, and we sort of just visited all of like the typical tourist spots like Brandenburger Tor, Checkpoint Charlie, all of those kind of things that you need to see if you've never been to Berlin before. And all of those are pretty close to the hotel as well. So if you want to stay super central in a super super eco-friendly hotel this might be the thing for you i've actually been allowed to share a 15 percent discount code with you guys um, i'll put it here on the screen for you and it's valid until december 2020 so you've got plenty of time no need to rush but just if you want to stay in a super sustainable hotel then check it out right so i want to show you around in this amazing room and tell you a little bit more about the hotel. So this is where you walk in. We have like an extra floor up here with, I think there's two extra beds up there. I haven't actually checked that out yet, but I um, need to do that ASAP. Have a lovely rail here with organic cotton towels. That's one of the things again that I love about this hotel. It's to the course, everything they do. Sustainability is something they have in mind in everything they do. We have a lovely bathroom in here. Just look at those tiles. I am obsessed with those. Can't wait to take a shower in here tonight as well. We have a lovely little sink situation over here. Love this sink, love the tiles as well. This is actually the same tiles that we've put up in our kitchen back home. We have some eco, eco certified hand soap, some eco certified hand cream over here as well. I have all of my stuff here, just unpacked right before I turned on the camera. Up here we have some more I Love Eco Essentials products and we have a wooden toothbrush here. We have some um, recycled cardboard cups right here. We have, what is this? We have some cotton, cotton pads. We have a disposable razor. Let me just have a look at that. And of course, the disposable razor that they've left in the room is biodegradable. Um, and then in the shower here, it's all eco-certified products as well. I just tried the hand soap before and it smells absolutely amazing. So moving into the room, we have a lovely bed right here, which I can't wait to sleep in tonight. And then we have a swing. There's a swing in my room. You know what? Wait a second. Let me just put you guys down. I'm a little bit scared. If your trip to Berlin isn't fun enough, you've always got the swing. So up here, we have those extra beds that I was just mentioning before. We have this lovely ceiling. We have a big Chesterfield couch over here. Really love that. Also a huge fan of this kind of carpet. We have a desk over here where I've set up camp already, as you can see. I have my reusable travel set here. Water bottle, 
coffee cup. So I used this in nice cream in Copenhagen and I got a discount because I brought my own cup. So this is really great to bring with you as well. You never, never know what you might need that for. I have a fork, I have a little spoon, I have a reusable straw as well. I have a little reusable linen bag here, which usually I just keep this little kit in the bag, but you can obviously also use it for any like things you can buy in bulk. This is a reusable napkin, so really my go-to little travel set. Over here, besides the couch, we have a wardrobe. And like I said before, I've already unpacked, so I have my Veya sneakers down here. I have a pair of jeans from Armed Angels, one of my favorite pairs of jeans, besides, of course, my vintage Levi's jeans. In here we have knitwear, I have some undies and some socks, I have some tech tech things down there. Up here they've left me some reusable water bottles and as you can see it says that it's made from 100% reused consumer plastic. So again that's one of those little things that they do. Really there's great reason to love this hotel and they just do so many good things all around. It's it's amazing so I'm super excited to be here. Gulsmen is a Danish hotel chain and sustainability is a core value for them, not just something they try to use in a fast and fancy type of marketing. They've got a couple third party certifications too, which is your safety as a customer because then you're sure that they actually do as they say and you can read more about those below this video. Waste is something they're actively working against too. They've cut out all unnecessary single use plastics both from the rooms and throughout the hotel and they also have some initiatives against food waste within the hotel. So the first place that I'm gonna go to is a vegan donut and sandwich place called Lamy Balls Donuts, I think it's called. A lot of you guys re recommended it to me over on my Instagram. And I think they're all over Berlin and there's one literally like five minutes away from the hotel and that's the single most recommended place. So definitely need to go check that out. I haven't had any lunch yet, so super excited. Okay, so I couldn't think of a better way to kickstart my trip than here. A lot of you guys recommended this place and it was so good. I had a salted caramel donut and a matcha latte and it was the perfect pair to be honest. After that I headed with the U-Bahn to Schöneberg to check out the first few shopping experiences that I had saved on my map. We stumbled upon this cute little vintage store that I'm by train so I can't really bring any stuff home with me. Is that not the dreamiest vintage mirror you've ever seen? I want it! It would be perfect for the bathroom. First up was Love Eco, which is located several places in Berlin, and they have some of my favorite sustainable brands such as Armed Angels, People Tree, Nudie Jeans, but also lots of other cool brands that I had never heard about before. So definitely worth a visit. After that I visited the pick and wait store on Bergmannstrasse and this was probably the highlight shopping wise of my entire trip. Pick and wait is stuffed and it's perfect for those who like a good thrift hunt and to find something really unique. I bought a cute 1990s dress in there that I cannot wait to wear this summer. You pay by the kilo which is kind of like their concept but you don't have to buy an entire kilo it's just how they calculate the prices. Such a cool store and I could have spent hours in there. that I'm currently doing a low buy challenge um, but I have two items on my wish list for this entire year and I've kind of allowed myself to buy vintage and secondhand first like I've always done and one of the items that I've had on my wish list you might remember me mentioning that in my recent wardrobe tour was a kind of like a vintage tea dress and then a light blue blazer so that's kind of what I've been looking for here in pick and wait and I think I might have found the most perfect vintage tea dress ever. So I just showed you 
how the dress looked on and it's just so perfect super flattering i love the length and then you have the opportunity to do sort of like a little bit of a sexy slit down here towards the bottom and in fact it actually looks kind of cool with jeans as well so maybe you have it open like sort of a kimono during the summer season to style it up differently but definitely just with some espadrilles or flat sandals or white sneakers even a pair of boots and a black leather jacket even with a jumper on top as well so it's more like a like a skirt score by the way can we just take a moment to appreciate the music that they're playing in this place Well, that was a successful shopping trip. Got the dress from my wish list, and um, it's kind of an odd placement. So you need to like enter this this stair hallway sort of, and it's it's sort of hidden in in a corner in like a little alley. I was really in doubt if this was the right place because let me just show you. You enter from this little alley right here, and then you just have to go up the stairs. And then, as you can see, it sort of feels like you're entering a hallway to some apartments, but it's just up there. So, right next to the Pick and Wait store on Bergmannstrasse, there's this cute little Asian joint called Good Morning Vietnam, which is an all-vegan place. So, I popped in there for some dinner now that I was in the area anyway, and oh my god, it was so good. For reference, I had a number 33, which is glass noodles with mushrooms, veggies, bean sprouts, and... Vietnamese herbs. Oh. Whew. Whoa! <laughs> I almost fell backwards there. Yeah. It's in the evening now, it's currently 7 o'clock and I just got back to the hotel. I'm super tired, but it's been a really great first day. I'm gonna kick off my boots, take a shower, get in my jammies and then I'm gonna retire to the bed. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, Hotel Gulsmiden is really working against waste and food waste is definitely one of the areas they are working with. So they turn leftovers into other dishes. So for example, this morning there was a special muesli with brownie because they had some leftover brownie that they wanted to use up. They also had some options for vegans and vegetarians, which I think is always worth mentioning as well. Good morning guys, so I just got back to the room after a really lovely breakfast downstairs. So I have an hour before I need to head out, it's currently 8.30 and I the first step today is a meeting with my lovely stillness team. I'm meeting up with my two brand managers, Robin and Catherine. We're meeting up in a place called Katie's Blue Cat for a cup of coffee and just a chat and then we'll head back to the stillness offices. Let me just show you something because yesterday when I went to Love Eco or Love Co, the Love Co shop, um, they actually had this little pamphlet in the window, Discover Green Fashion in Berlin. And apparently this is something you can book, like you can book a tour. So it's basically a map with all of the sustainable or ethical fashion stores and brands and initiatives that you can find throughout Berlin, which I think is pretty cool. I won't have time to visit all of these, but I'll definitely leave a link for you guys down below so you can have a look at this yourself. Like I just said, you can actually book a tour to go all over Berlin to visit some of these places. And I think that's pretty cool if you're really into sustainable fashion or if you're starting your own brand or whatever. Um, I think there might be a lot of great inspiration here for you. By the way, here's that beautiful dress that I bought in Pick and Wait yesterday. So, so cute. I just wanted to show you it in daylight. <laughs> Look at the print, it's so cute. Cannot wait to wear it with like either a pair of boots or my white trainers. So, so lovely. So I'm just heading to the tube to go to Katie's Blue Cafe. And um, I just checked the map and if you want to go to some of the more like touristy spots in the area like Brandenburger Tour or Checkpoint Charlie, all of those kind of touristy places, um, it's like a 25 minute walk away from the hotel. So just wanted to let you guys know that if you want to see some of those like must-have 
things while you're in Berlin. Um, the Gutsmillen Hotel is super central, as I also mentioned yesterday. I have a 29 minute tube ride before I'll be at Katie's Blue Cafe. And I'm running a bit late, so I'm gonna get going now and head to East Berlin. It's a beautiful sunny day, as you can see. Amazing, but it's super cold. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be. Who you're gonna be. So for those of you who don't know, I have my own jewelry brand and my production partner is called Stillnest, who is located in Berlin. I've had my brand for a year now and it's evolved wonderfully. I'm so proud of how far we've gotten with it. So the main points of my brand is that it's all ethically made to order in Germany, so no mass production whatsoever and all of the materials are responsibly sourced. And then of course the designs are super versatile, they're timeless and durable. So we are going back to the Stillnest office now and this is Catherine Hi. and Robin <laughs> who are both managing my, my brand and we have some exciting things for this year coming up. I'll be uploading a behind the scenes vlog at some point during these next months which I filmed at the office while I was there that day so you can see what kind of goes into the making of my designs. So I just had a lovely meeting with the Stillness team. It was so amazing to finally meet those guys and to see what we have in the cards for this year, which is a lot of amazing things. And um, I'm really hungry now, so I am on my way to a vegan restaurant called Vegan Living, which a lot of you guys recommended when I asked you what was the best like vegan restaurants in Berlin. So definitely gonna try that. I'm super hungry. And let's go have some lunch. On my way to Vegan Living, I walked past this bulk store called Original Unverpackt and I thought I just wanted to pick up a few snacks for in the evening and for my train ride home the next day. I love concepts like these where the main focus is basically to avoid any unnecessary plastic packaging. So Vegan Living is located in Friedrichshain and it's another one of those places a lot of you guys recommended me to try and I understand why because it was so good. The sizes of the bowls, is, is, is four too much? Like four, is that too much for one person? For one person? Yeah, uh, or is three okay for like yeah, three, three, okay. okay, great. Well then I think I'm ready to order and then the drinks, do I write it here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have one. Okay, okay. Thank you. Again, being vegan in Berlin is a bit of a dream and if I had all these options, I'd definitely choose the vegan alternatives more regularly. Pretty close to Vegan Living, there's both a vintage store and a couple of the stores that are also featured on the Green Fashion Tours map. The first store I visited was KWD. Katja from KWD makes all these bags in the store and it was kind of like visiting an art gallery. It was so inspiring to hear about the bags and accessories she makes from idea to final product. They are made in upcycle but super durable materials such as old tire tubes, conveyor belts, safety belts and more. Make it bigger and adjust the color. Oh, yeah. So you have up to 30 liter and it's uh, water resistant. Yeah, and, and you can also turn it into a... You can just <laughs> take it with you. Yeah. It's quite easy. Yeah. After that I went to Maku, which is just a few doors down the street. It's a cute little sustainable women's wear store and all the designs are by Marisa, who is from Peru. The clothing is ethically made in Germany and Peru. There are both colorful feminine pieces in the store, but also some more classic styles, so definitely worth a visit. What about this, the, the, um, the sizes? Normally we have uh, from 
mostly of course uh, S and L, but, yeah. but we also have XS and we make also XXL, but not by, only by, uh, by ordering. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's nice to know that there's the option because I know a lot of people have. Um, I get a lot of requests from people um, who have like plus size mm -hmm. that find it tricky to find ethically made um, yeah. because usually the sizes are quite limited. This but it's nice to know that you can get like custom. Yeah. So I bought some chickpea chips for tonight and these chocolate, vegan chocolate covered um, dried ginger bits and both of these I bought in Vegans, which is an all vegan grocery store, which is a bit of a dream. So snacks for tonight and probably for the train ride tomorrow. This is also for the train ride tomorrow, maybe not this one, but these two I bought some cashew nuts and some chocolates um, from the original Unverpackt store. I'm gonna eat my dinner from Goody Stilly now. Yeah, it's always great to know about any like vegan slash vegetarian sort of fast food. It's not fast food, but I, I think you know what I mean, like places where you can get something to eat quite fast. Hopefully it's not gone too cold from the train ride home. I had like a half an hour train ride home. Mm, oh my god, can confirm this is absolutely delicious. Some sort of a curry. I think this is the green curry or something like that. Really good. Good morning guys. So it's currently nine o'clock and I just got back from breakfast and I just packed up all of my stuff here, ready to go out and explore for my final day in Berlin. So yesterday was such a lovely day and um, really great meeting with the Stillness team as well as speaking all things my jewelry brand and really wanted to mention that because my jewelry brand is turning one year this month we wanted to celebrate that and then offer you guys a 10% discount code so this is gonna be a newsletter only discount code so um, if you sign up to our dedicated newsletter you will get the code sent to you um, and you have one week from today to sign up for the newsletter and get the code sent to you so until the 5th of February, you'll be able to get your hands on the code and it's valid only one time for one person and all throughout February. I hope that makes sense. I'll put the details down below for you. But a 10% discount code for those of you who've been interested in supporting my jewelry brand if you want to get your hands on, on some long lasting timeless jewelry pieces that are suitable for daily wear but you can also use for more special occasions super versatile and ethically made with love but i just quickly wanted to show you what i'm wearing because i feel like i haven't showed you much of what i've been wearing during this trip i'll put you down here so that is me ready for another day of exploring also bringing this um Reusable shopper bag. Love it because there's like this velcro siphoning here and then there's a pocket inside where I can keep like headphones and portable charger and things like that. So I have my reusable water bottle. I have a scarf down here. I have all of my camera equipment as well. We we'll just pop it on like this and I'm ready to go. I started the day by the top of Schönhauser Allee and walked past this secondhand store called Humana. It was a well curated shop with lots of cashmere, wool jumper, coats, blazers, silk shirts and everything you could dream of to find in a vintage store basically. I didn't buy anything because I am on a low buy challenge right now so although it was tempting I didn't buy anything but I just wanted to show you a couple of styles I carried in the store for the sake of this video. Next up was another secondhand store. This one was called 1231 BST, which is exactly what it says on the tin, a buy sell trade concept. They had a lot of great things in there and brands were everything from Cost to Celine.
After that, I went to a shop called Wunderwerk, another sustainable shop from the green fashion tourism map, and they had both men's and women's wear. I think the pieces they had in there were very much my style, very basic and very timeless. In general, this whole area was a bit of a dream because they had all sorts of sustainable stores like Patagonia, Nudie Jeans, another pick and wait store, and they are all located close to each other. So if I had to choose only one area to focus on, if maybe you don't have so much time in Berlin, then the area around Prenzlauerberg and Alexanderplatz would definitely be it. So this area that I went to today is definitely one of the like highlights of the trip in terms of ethical fashion stores, I think. Just a really great area and everything's really like close located next to each other. There's even like, you know, those common stores that you already know, like Monkey and Kass and, and other stories that also have like lines with things in organic cotton and things like that. So if that's your budget, then you'll definitely be able to find those stores as well. I'm currently on my way to a place called Hummus and Friends, which I think is a vegan restaurant to have some lunch. I ended the day with lunch at Hummus and Friends, which is obviously not vegan because as you can see, there were eggs on my plate, but definitely meat free and just really good. It's probably the best and most creamiest hummus I have ever had in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for the ride. Do let me know if I've forgotten something and if you're gonna go to Berlin and if you'll be using my guide as well. Fun fact, did you know that I am actually half German and half Danish? My dad is German, but because he speaks Danish, my German language is horrible. But maybe that's another reason why Berlin will always have a special place in my heart. Can't wait to go back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all soon for another video. Thank you.